quickly. Um, on, if you're in a relationship and you want to be less controlling, um, again, the, the, the way to do that, so there's different levels of intention you can have with the relationship. Uh, so one of, <coughs> uh, when you're in, uh, at a lower level of consciousness, it'll be quite needy and um, you'll be uh, either criticizing the person or wanting the person to behave in a certain way. So, like a higher intention, if you want to be less controlling, is um, to have an alignment to be of service and to be of love, and not to, to be in the relationship to get. Mm -hmm. Not to be in the relationship to get. So, you want to have an alignment to uh, serve, essentially, and to make the other person, you know, to how can you make the other person happy? How can you be loving? How can you let go of um, uh, yourself? and getting what you think you want in that relationship. So what, that, what this will do, so the things I would do is like I'd bite my tongue. Uh, well, not literally, but um, I, you know, like if I'm going to say like, hey, you know, you're, you're, um, you're sitting in the wrong way, can you sit differently because, uh, you know, you're, you're irritating me. I, say, I wouldn't say that. So by not saying that, then I'll have these feelings of irritation but I would try and sit with those feelings or go to the observer of those feelings or pray for them silently until it passes. So each time I want to control them or tell them, I wouldn't do it. And I would bet, now if, let's say, I don't know, you don't like them smoking and they light up a cigarette, then if you can't, if you can't, if the feelings are too big, I might go into another room and just feel them out or go to the observer. So you do that. And so you're trying to transcend Every time you want to tell them to, to do or be different, or you want to transcend it without, without uh, asking them to change. Mm -hmm. So you'll have extreme feelings come up. You either feel them out or go to the observer or pray for them. And then eventually, and also just offer to be, you know, if they say, look, do you, I know you don't like me having coffee, is all right to you say, you have, have, a, have a coffee, you know. So have that intention. What is that doing, which is very ego deflatory, is that your ego wants to be in the relationship so it can get its needs met. So what you're doing is actually um, going into withdrawal, not getting your needs met, and then f and transcending them by feeling the feelings of going to the observer until you get them met by grace, by God, by being in the observer, by being in the oneness. Then uh, I can tell you that person will you know, probably will love you a lot because you'll just be a radiator of unconditional love. They can have a cigarette, a coffee, they can put their feet up, and you still love them. So, you know, uh, as opposed to like, you know, you can't smoke, you can't do this, you have to sit a certain way. So, the intention then is to love and to serve. <clears throat> and <clears throat> when I wanted things from that, I'm going to get that from God by transcending those things. So, in that way. That's the way I would do it. Uh, so if you're going to do that with a person, the other person is going to be a very lucky person to have you in their life, you know.